Today I'm going to use my diamond tester to see if I have any diamonds. I found this brick, uh, it feels like a glass brick in the, the yard. It has a cool rainbow look to it. You can put it in vinegar and lime juice and in a toaster oven and then it'll clear up and all these colors will come out on it. You can pretty much heat it in any different way you choose. You can tell what kind of stone it is if by the way the shape well by the shape this one's a monoclinic and um, the way it broke off um, you can tell by where you found it at I found it in California um, you can tell by the hardness this is really hard how heavy it is in water and um, of course, and the scratch test. Mm. Let's see. A lot of ways you can tell what it is. This one's pretty cool too. Because it's blue. See, this one I, I bought as a diamond, so let's see if they lied to me or not. Ready? If it goes up and beeps, it's a diamond. What? The 99 cents to lie to me? Not a diamond? I'll try this one out. But this might be the blue mystic diamond or something. Kind of cool. Feels like one of those um, moon shaped rocks or moon rocks or whatever. Stones. Congratulations, I have no diamonds. Um, Alright, let's try out this big old heavy duty brick. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Could be a colored diamond. And then if you um, clear it up, this will actually turn pink. And um, California, in this area is known for pink diamonds. I live right next to Diamond Lake. This thing's heavy as hell too, man. Um, uh, if it's a diamond, like it says it is, I'm gonna put a hole through here and a hole through here. And I'm gonna wear it around my chest, around my neck, I should say. And then I'm gonna wear it like bling bling, I guess. And I'll be all doing the wrapping thing. Cool, huh? That might be cool. Maybe not. 